Sweet Scale fam, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sweet Scale TV. I think it's been two weeks since I last made a beat. So it's time to get back to work. It's time to cook up. One of the questions I get asked a lot is how I chop up samples. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I'm gonna take a sample from either Splice or Loop Cloud, chop it up, and we're gonna try to turn that sample into a banger. Lot to get into, so let's cook up. All right, before we get started, quick question. How many beats do you guys make per day? I try to make at least two beats a day, but the most I ever make is five. Worst case scenario, I'll make one beat and a few samples. But yeah, let us know in the comments below, how many beats do you typically make a day? Okay, so we got Splice opened up. Let's use pads. Let's go to loops. Now. That's nice. I like this. Yeah, we can go with this one. Okay, so we got the sample. Let's just loop that. Get the BPM. Let's change the warp mode to complex pro. Let's transpose. And I want to speed it up. Let's take it to about, about 145. Now I'm going to chop it up and this is definitely something you're going to want to do if you're using Splice. It's a great platform, but the thing is these samples are available to millions, if not billions of producers. Last thing you want to do is sound just like anyone else. So I'm going to try to chop it up. So that way it sounds a bit more unique compared to the one that's on Splice right now. Chop it up right there. Maybe we go like that. So. Yeah, keep chopping up. Da -na -na -na. Yeah. That sounds dope. And then take that out, yeah. Okay, so let's take a listen to that. Okay, so let's duplicate that. And I think I want to chop it up again. Like that. Yeah. That sounds good. Or do we do three? Three or four? Yeah, definitely four. Do the same thing right here. Chop that up. Copy. Paste that. Perfect. All right, so the original sample was... Now we got I think I want to add some guitar. I'm thinking uh, let's go to some of my favorite guitars are from native instruments. So let's go check those out. Quite often, I'm gonna duplicate the electric guitar, and then what we're gonna do is go in here, and I wanna get rid of all the bottom notes. This is gonna allow me to get like a delay effect. I'm gonna add a delay on this on this channel right here, and then we're gonna get the electric guitar to kind of to kind of echo. Let's start with some reverb. Cool. Uh, I wanna add guitar rig six. 
nice. So this is the first shim. And here's the delays. Perfect. And on the group channel, you can see I got I got these different effects turned on. And then just on the sec on the delay channel, I got all these different effects as well. And I did a video on my favorite effects in 2021. And year to date, those are still the same effects I use. I know a lot of people like to watch my favorite VSTs in 2021 and 2020, but the hidden gems are actually the effects. So definitely check that out. What are we doing next? I think I want to put a pad in the background. Let's go to, um, let's go to heat up three. Oh, my bad. Hey. Let's put some effects on this bad boy. I think we're ready to add some drums. And let's just bring in the kick, bring in the 808 and the drum rack. Okay, so we got some. It's usually my melody, usually my melodies are, are on point, but I really love this drum and 808 pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna bring everything over to the arrangement view. Let's just bring those bad boys over. Okay, and uh, duplicate everything a few times. I'm gonna take out the 808 in the intro, take out the kick in the intro. Let's take out the guitar for the first eight bars. I wanna throw some effects on the sample as well. Okay, so I've gone ahead and arranged this beat. I made a few changes, but nothing crazy. Channel nine is everything but the drums. I recorded the master channel into channel nine and then put effects on channel nine. I got ROM and Loop Raider. I automated it to turn on at the very end and it just really adds a big reverb to the very end where we kind of have a small drop. And this is what it sounds like with everything all together. And then you hear this, this breath. And then we bring everything in. So let's take a listen to that. A few changes to it to the 808 so take a listen to the 808 and then we bring in these really cool effects that bring a big presence to the verse
Y'all hear that? I don't know where I found this. But such a dope effect going into the verse. Woo! This was a good beat to come back into the studio and create. We still got it. That's another episode in the books. It feels great to be back in the studio. It's your boy Cedric from Sweet Scale TV. Appreciate y'all. I'm signing out. I'll see you in a future episode.